Hi everyone. So back inside of ZBrush, I want to quickly cover UV Master. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. There are some options if you would like. You can kind of investigate it. Um, generally, when I'm doing stuff like this, I tend to use a more procedural shader uh, approach and using uh, Rich Dirt or um, V-Ray Dirt. There are some kind of plugins and tools that we use at Blur um, quite a bit for rock surfaces. For the purposes of the class, we'll definitely get into uh, you know V-Ray Dirt and how we use that, and then all, also uh, fall-offs um, for accentuating different contours of the rock and, and whatnot. So you'll, what you'll see is that you don't need to unwrap a whole lot. It doesn't hurt, it can't hurt, so you might as well while you're in here. So let's say that um, you've sculpted this awesome lump of whatever it is, rockish looking something. And as I've suggested, you will, uh, you will copy your tool and then first you are going to decimate it. So you will pre-process it. ZBrush will think. And in this case, ZBrush might crash. And you will have saved your, um, your object before doing this. Uh, so ZBrush did not crash. Just had to think really long and hard. And uh, as I talked about, I don't really use this percentage slider, but when you first come into here, you've got to give it a little bit of a, a, little bit of a kick. Um, for something like this, 50K, um, for this example, UV Master can take a little bit. It is also prone to crash, so save before you do this. Um, save after you decimate. Decimation Master is definitely more stable than UV Master. Okay, so I have decimated my object, and you can see it's not the prettiest. But for the purposes of this, it will uh, work splendidly. All right, so again, under Z Plugins, this is where you find Decimation Master. There's a whole bunch of cool um, plugins and whatnot, and you, I encourage you to check these out. UV Master, if it closes like that, when, uh, when you click on it, it always does that every single time. So we've got UV Master open. First, we're going to click Enable Control Painting. Then we're going to Attract from Ambient Occlusion. And it will think for a moment. And you get this awesome white and blue. So where it's blue, these are the seams. And it's using your ambient occlusion to, uh, to build those seams. For something like this, you can come in. You can protect areas. You can paint and uh, paint away seams. Um, you can also you know attract and whatnot. But... For rocks, things like that, I generally kind of roll with um, the default settings here. So back in here, and your next step is going to be unwrap. And then it's going to come up here. You're going to see it doing polygroup, whatever, cutting handle. Um, this is going to sit for a bit, and it might crash. I should have saved the decimated mesh. Damn you, Chad. This is the first video that might be more sitting and waiting than me talking. There's a cricket outside. I don't know if the mic will pick that up. It's loud. It's a loud cricket. Now that we have this time together. All right, so in 58 seconds, uh, that guy finished. So you can imagine I've only got 24,000 active points, right? And that took a minute. So if you've decimated something and it's like 300,000 uh, points, it's going to take a bit. And just let it roll, go 
have a beer, have a cup of coffee, um, <laughs> take a break, and let it do it. Let it do its thing. So now you can come here and you can come down to flatten, and it'll show you what it's done, how it's laid this out. So now once you've done this you are clear to export and you can just say unflatten to get back to the normal object you would save as you have your now high res unaltered version and then you have your low res decimated UV'd object as well which you will then say export you will create an OBJ make sure it has UVs texture coordinates and then you can bring that in and as I showed you, you will turn off the smoothing groups and that will be your UV channel one, unless you, you know, of course, copy it to another channel and whatnot. So generally, um, I kind of let that be UV channel one. Every once in a while I'll move it around and I'll actually use something else. Um, but I like to have those UVs as an option. Sometimes I just save them off so I can load them back um, later, but you have them in the event that you want them. So that is UV Master. I'm hoping that you guys are getting a lot out of this and making some awesome sculpts and that this will be one more thing in your arsenal to make some kick-ass stuff. All right, I'll talk to you soon.